After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, based and cringe. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Bike Pedal Solid 3 is a game developed by world-famous movie director Split Day-Old Josh Inmom, in which you are tasked with the defeat of communists in the jungles of Siberia. It's the height of the Cold War, and tensions between the forces of base and cringe have never been higher. In the backdrop of this international struggle, our hero must brave dark forests, high mountains, and two separate console generations. The aim of this virtuous mission is to extract the Soviet scientist named Sokolov, working on a secret project for an invincible weapon of war. And with great ambition, determination, and a will to stop the forces of evil. Our hero, Naked Snake, that's his real code name, begin preparations for the plunge below and the perilous journey which lies ahead. But first, a warning. I wanted to record the HD version of the game in order to get better footage, but unfortunately that's only on the PS3. Then I remembered that my computer is a PS3. But there might be a few bugs. You get up in the air and your partner's like, don't throw your smoke on the gasoline. The door opens and Snake decides to jump away from the burning wreck. Oh, Snake, you go on growl if you guess. Snake, man, so wrong with me, I always appreciate me, man. Snake gets as far away as he can from that and ends up on the jungle floor. Now the virtuous mission can finally begin. Except no, my mom is calling me. You've been ignoring her philosophy lectures for five years before she finally caught up to you. Now you can finally listen to her talking about... Now it's time to head through the lush swamps of Siberia and die. The Russians patrol these jungles, so you must head through slowly, carefully, and methodically. That includes the bee attack. You finally reach the factory where Sokolov is being held and beat up everyone like it's high school. You get to Sokolov just as he exterminates the last of the Twilight books. Sokolov explains to Snake that he's actually being kept there for his safety by the KGB. There is an internal power struggle in the Soviet Union, in which a faction of radical communists seeks to kidnap him and take power for themselves. This faction is headed by none other than Emperor Palpatine. The motivation ideology and also practice of all these forces remains at large, but time is of the essence, so you make your extremely slow es Hurry up. Please. Free. Fuck. Finally, a real American. You. You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh. What's a Gru soldier doing here? I came here to gesticulate for no reason! I suffer from a disorder in which I must wave my hands around randomly. What? Now, Snake, tell me, is it true that in capitalist America, hordes of pigs can appear from nowhere and kill children? I, I don't think that's accurate. Amazing! I'm going to meow now. What? So Snake beats his ass, rendering him unconscious and the scientist safe. You run into the forest to go find the scientist and enter the bridge of bad lip syncing. Capable of launching nuclear IRBM. You see the giant tank Silk Love's working on. It has a giant can. It shoots really big. Your only option left is to take him back to the state. So you cross the bridge where you see your mom. Your mom is voiced by Pearl from Spongebob. That suitcase is full of bees, Snake. I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. You mean the forces of cringe? Those are relative terms, you imbecile. So the communists use bees to get out Sokolov, and Emperor Palpatine shows up. Finally, my plans are coming together. Throw this yee-yee-ass honky off of the bridge. <laughs> Shit, I have hands. Snake wakes up on the shore and is contacted by HQ. You'll have to listen carefully in order to manually treat your injuries with the proper supplies. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the they item window be fixed button. using and surgery. surgery. Treat the healing once you select the medicine. Hope you got all that, bro. Snake bends his bones back and then leaves off screen. Meanwhile, Palpatine decides that it's time to dispose of the evidence. It's been one week since the virtuous mission, and your radioactive ass is being sent back to the jungle again. The Soviets blamed the United States for the explosion, and the world is on the brink of nuclear annihilation. In order to save the world and prove our innocence, you must head back into the jungle and stop Palpatine's plan to overthrow Khrushchev. This is the beginning of Operation Snake Eater. You then walk 13 feet before seeing your mom again, seriously? Snake, you deserve to be placed in a box and laughed at. You see those big fucking squares in the ground there, Snake? Yeah, take care of those and we'll talk. 
forced to sneak around for a very long period of time. Can you crawl faster? You go to Sokolov's house again to meet with your contact, but she arrives in a loud motorcycle. You are unsurprisingly found by the guards. Don't worry though, she's prepared. Okay, they're gone. She spawns her hair and then reveals her real name, Ava, which is a stupid name. Then she show her huge booba to Big Boss the Snake. I am talking Largo Bazonka Donkos, dustpan-sized Donkey Kongs. She gets you to sign up for her OnlyFans and then gives Snake a gun, which he likes more. The feeding ramp Long time she gives you a scientist disguise and tells you to go to sleep. In fact, the game encourages you to stop playing it. Snake wakes up and dastardly villains appear outside. It wasn't a good idea to sleep within 20 meters of a disappeared patrol. They break in so you toss a flashbang at their asses and then gun them all down like dogs. Oh, you again. You will be answering most of my questions or her head will fall off. Is it true that in capitalist America that you pay for healthcare in blood? Uh, I mean, not all of us. What? So Ava beats the shit out of him and he's like, I have to go. With that taken care of, you progress on your journey through the jungle. Along the way, you encounter swamps, alligators, 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 electric fences, minefields, minefields, disappearing dogs, and non-consensual python consumption films. With nothing but a pistol in hand and an iron will to see things through, you breach the jungles and head for the facility where Ocelot stands behind a rock. God damn it. Tell me, American. Is it true that in capitalist America, there is no such thing as the village toothbrush? The what? Fascinating. Listen to my cat impression. <laughs> So now it's actually time to fight Ocelot. The battle is actually fun, but is extremely dated by modern standards. Ocelot struggles greatly with object permanence. If he can't see you, you don't exist. You trade blows for hours, shooting each other in the face multiple times. And after a long and exhausting battle, Snake finally closes in for the kill with multiple bees. Wait, Ocelot uses an extremely viable way to kill bees while everyone else dies, and Snake is forced to jump off a cliff to escape the bees. Snake then probably eats a hornet's nest to get revenge. Welcome to the cave area. Fuck the cave area. It's literally so dark that you can't tell when I cut clips. You swim through the dim tunnels until you find the crabs that killed Amelia Earhart. You then eat the crabs, absorbing Amelia Earhart's life essence into your own. Now, with the light of Amelia's soul, Snake is finally able to escape the caves and face the enemy which lies beyond. My physiology is comprised mostly of bees! Finally, I get to fight... You! I am the paint! Do you mean the pain? No. Much like the Ocelot fight, this battle can be used as a test for infants. Whenever you disappear from the water, the pain forgets that you exist, allowing you to get a quick hit before diving underwater again. He would be screwed if bees weren't bulletproof. He also uses bees to carry grenades instead of just sending bees at you. But after a long time of poking and prodding, you eventually bring him down and he explodes into fire. Why? Hey. Now we can leave this fucking cave. You head through dangerous canyons and swamps filled with Russians on fucking spaceships, only to arrive at the warehouse just in time to glimpse your target. Sokolov is refusing to cooperate, and that's not very communist of him. Ocelot shows up for no reason and juggles guns at him. The boss then shows up and kills my goldfish. She tells Ocelot not to worry about Snake and that the B-Man has the cover. Then Palpatine punches a wall like Kyle and everyone goes home. Except, of course, for Jesus, who probably performs a miracle. Mr. Bertie Sanders, it's an honor. See, so you swim into the base, taking care not to be detected, and after needlessly murdering all of the guards, you carefully sneak into the warehouse, through the warehouse, and through the guards. You head through a mysterious forest until you're caught by a snare trap. At which point, the game insults your intelligence by assuming that you can't get out. You finally enter a location called Entering this highly secretive lab will require great skills and bullet mastery. Crawling through the walls, you slowly make your way into the lab. Once inside, you don your disguise and put on inconspicuous face paint. They noticed me. After murdering everyone, you proceed to the main office where you find this fat guy, and he's just like, holy shit, Snake, you are sunburned so badly, can I please give you lotion? He tells you that you're in the wrong base, and what you're actually looking for is the impenetrable fortress of Groznygrad. There's also a gigantic stash of money over there that's giving Vulcan all his power. Snake, a greedy capitalist, heads there immediately. That means it's time again. Got one all the way back. You ran so far that it became daytime. I 
filled that arrow with heroin. You're about to have a fucking blast, my dude. Come. Later, bitch. I'm Spider-Man. So the battle starts with the game literally telling you how to get rid of the heroin. I don't think it trusts you. The fear is a boss who jumps around like a hungry cat. He also doesn't have an issue with basic cognitive function, making him one of the best bosses. The battle is a matter of tracking the movements of your camouflaged enemy while dodging his arrows. All the while, the arena is filled with traps and AIDS needles. Eventually, Snake makes it through the homeless camp and purchases a stolen bike to hit him with. This kills him instantly. Alright, so the crackhead is died. Time to go. You go through the warehouse before killing the guards and then looking up the exit. I'm lost, mom. Please pick me up. Now I know. You head through when Ava calls you, telling you to get your ass to the secret tunnel in the mountains. Also, watch out for Bernie Sanders, he's coming. You go for a peaceful walk in the forest and then dodge the worst trap ever made. Then you begin a cutscene. The gameplay between bosses was 10 minutes. You will be receiving healthcare by force. After all, is free healthcare not the definition of communism? What the fuck? I will be pushing Donald Trump down the stairs. It's time for another boss who can process stimuli. But unlike previous encounters, this boss is slow, methodical, and deadly. Kojima originally wanted the boss fight to take three weeks in real life, but was told no by a trained gibbon. The boss fight mostly consists of sneaking up on your target and chipping away his health. It's a cat and mouse game between two equally matched stealth operatives. And if you don't play the game for a week, he dies of old age. Fortunately, I didn't do that, so I got to watch him change race and explode. Now that America is safe from the clutches of real-life, actual, in fact, communism, it's time to head up a ladder and head to the mountains above. If you've played this game, you already know. What a thrill. Hurry up! This is the ladder scene sped up by 1,000 times, so notice that takes a long time. We're barely halfway there. Albert Einstein was a German-born theoretical physicist who developed the theory of relativity, one of the- We're here! Gibbons are apes in the family Hyobatini, the family has welcome to the mountains. There are hordes of animals, and Snake is an expert in putting down animals. You crawl around a lot until you reach the camp where you are pursued by a helicopter. Stealthily and expertly, you make your way to the main base camp, which is patrolled by guards. <laughs> then the problem sorts itself out and you reach the end. Snake enters the secret tunnel and finds his solid snake. Donkey Kong's is back, and not voiced because I don't know a woman. Snake uses his male powers to read her dodgeballs, and they tell him how to enter a secret tunnel to Groznygrad. There, he must steal a uniform from a femboy rescue Sokolov, and make his escape. Then she bikes off a fucking cliff and dies. You look down at the base and see Palpatine. Fuck you, Barrel, you're the worst PewDiePie character. <laughs> Colonel, please help me, I can't stop walking like I have to take a shit. I literally killed a person, you fucking idiot. What? This is why we don't have sex ocelot. <laughs> All communists may be gay, but I'm not gay for you. So after that shenaniganery, you exit the mountainside and enter the tunnel. Kinda cool how Snake had to climb a mountaintop and then leave it after 20 minutes. Hey there, Snake. I know that you're expecting a gimmick or a funny voice, but there is no gimmick. I'm just here to kill you. Bitch. It's time to fight another boss of Gibbon Intelligence. The Fury works by trying to figure out where you are and then failing. Though I would consider it a difficult boss, because if you are found, you're fucked. Much like the pain, you rely on this boss being unable to understand Piaget's water conservation task. The boss isn't very interesting, his fight goes down to a cycle of three steps. Shooting, running, and praying. Do this enough and you'll win. I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. He's dead. Oh boy, another ladder. Great. Welcome to Groznygrad. I hope no one looks at my plans while I'm sleeping. You sneak through the outer sections until you get indoors. You put on your disguise and it actually works this time. Did I mention Snake can do blackface in this game? You run around for 10 hours looking for a femboy. Seriously, where the fuck is he? When you finally find one, you walk towards him normally, knock him out, and then shove him in a locker like a nerd. Raiden. Squeeze my hog. Now Snake is revered and respected across Discord.com. Using your newfound access, you head to the interrogation room to find a very confused Sokolov. He tells you that it's too late. The giant robot is ready for battle and the Soviets no longer need him. The only course of action left is to destroy the prototype because schematics don't exist apparently. Snake is therefore left with a choice. Save Sokolov or find a bomb to destroy the Shagohod. Volgan enters the chamber so Snake is forced to don the disguise again. 
Where have you been, kitten? Daddy's been waiting in Discord VC for three fucking hours now. <coughs> Wait a fucking second. Kitten has a bent penis. He shoots Soku off for no reason, so you take him down. Then the boss shows up again for no reason. Snake is extremely shit at this. Then Palpatine gets in on the fun. It looks like this. What the fuck is happening in here? Tell me, American, you're after the only fans, aren't you? What are you talking about? I don't think he knows, dude. He doesn't. He tells you that all of his power and resources comes from the possession of Ava's OnlyFans. The OnlyFans is worth $100 billion, meaning more people than exist on Earth have a $10 subscription. The boss and Ava arrive, but that doesn't matter. Fuck these people. Palpatine insists that you're after the OnlyFans, which is his true source of power. Then he literally reveals the location to you. In the underground vault of Groznikrat. This compels Ocelot to do his dumbass juggling game. Oh, oopsie poopsie. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty cool, I guess. Got to see Guy's eye pop off today. Take him to the jail cell. Now, American, tell me. Is it illegal to clap in America? You have been imprisoned. Please stop talking. You have been imprisoned in the fortress, and now you must make your escape. Like an infant, you decide to hide under the bed. When he doesn't buy that shit, you bust through the doors like a gorilla and kill him. It's time to head to your escape route with the fuzz and hot pursuit. You prepare yourself for a slow and stealthy crawl across the base, but then you realize that Snake takes no damage from bullets, so it's in God's hands now. Then you find a machine gun in a room, and the game gets really exciting. You enter the sewers, oh shit, a dog. You enter the sewers and make a beeline for the exit as fast as you can. <laughs> Oh, Snake, it seems you have nowhere to go. How fortunate for me. Now you'll just have to answer all of my questions. Oh my god, he's going to ask me something stupid. Is it true that in capitalist America, the army is conscripted to fight giant tumbleweeds? Answer me, or else. Okay, fine. What? You win this time, American. So you leap off the fucking cliff and die. I'm serious, you're literally dead. So Snake is taken to the fucking afterlife. I was thinking that being dead would face him more. Then it begins to rain in hell. Have you ever seen Danny Phantom? What? Guns don't work in hell, dumbass. You're just like me, Snake. Edgy as all hell. You've killed literally dozens of guards in order to get shots for your stupid fucking video. Now, you will see the suffering that you cause. Crikey! No fuck, I didn't want to go up, stop! This is the sorrow <clears throat> boss fight. The developers figured out that you could avoid having a chip boss by not having any boss at all. He shows you all the guards that you've killed along your journey, which is most of them. He even remembered each individual bead. Ah. The more people you've killed, the harder the battle. It's behind me, Arrow. isn't it? Then you walk for three hours. I didn't know birds had souls. And when the moment is darkest and Snake is on the verge of forever death, someone begins playing Lincoln Park. So Snake comes back to life to turn it off. Now we must sneak through the jungle with no equipment besides our bare instincts. You expertly evade your enemies before beating them up some more and running behind a waterfall. Ava shows up behind the waterfall after her spine was reattached. Then she sexily gives her weapons back. You chill for a bit before she's like, Snake, are you fucking gay? The internet witch begs you to give her more money, but Snake is trained. Can't even eat a snake during a mission, huh? I wouldn't mind eating you. She tries the physical contact route, but he never breaks. Even after undergoing CBT, he remains unbreakable. Snake waves goodbye to the thought, but she gives him explosives out of respect. Later, bitch. You take the tunnel to Groznygrad and go up a ladder! What? Now you're back. You sneak through the tank yard. Fuck! You sneak past the extremely aware guards. Enter the weapons lab, disguise ourselves, reach the tank, and kill everyone. Oh, okay, fine. You disguise as a different person, then systematically knock everyone out with your stanky breath. Finally, you place the explosives and get ready to leave. Except for the fact that Palpatine just appears again. The boss beats you up for no reason. Snake, what the fuck are you wearing? Am I in a goddamn Jiffy Lube? Oh good, you got him! Now tell me, American! In capitalist America! Shut up, Ocelot! This bitch tried to swipe her OnlyFans for me, but I got that shit on lock. Why are you all panicking? All the passwords, all the 2FA, I got that shit right here. I will now switch this radio to the low-res model. I no longer need you, Ava. Your OnlyFans is enough to fund communism 1,000 times over. <laughs>
cringe. What the fuck are you saying? How about I lay it out in a way that you can understand, you unfresh bonobo? Communism is when the government gives people health care. And the more health care the government gives, the more communister it is. My plan is to use this money to give health care to every man, woman, and child in the world, and therefore force them to adopt communism. I will ensure that the government takes every toothbrush, every iPhone, and every stock market, and burns them along with every starving Ukrainian. Once the Soviet Union stands supreme as leader of the world's nations and the top provider of health care, I will rename the Earth to Venezuela and inflate our currency until the end of time. To destroy all of the small business owners and mom and pop landlords, I have my Shagohan tank, which will rain a nuclear fire upon a new red world. You will fight me now, Snake, and I will win. For a specter is haunting Europe. Take the only fan somewhere safe. I have one last loose end to deal with. Welcome to the Palpatine boss, where 90% of the fight is him standing still. Also, you have a time limit before the base explodes. The best maneuver here is to do the classic Dark Souls circle strafing. And if you shoot at him, he gets mad. The actual way to beat him is by frontal hand-to-hand -hand combat, where upon you shoot him on the floor. You gotta do this a lot. Palpatine is swole as fuck. Phase 2 starts, and Ocelot doesn't do shit. Hey boss, pull my finger. No. Phase 2 begins and Palpatine is new bullshit. Fortunately for you, he's defeated by the same old bullshit. You flip him harder than the state of Georgia for a few hours and that's how you win. Snick climbs up a ladder and leaves him to explode. Upon exiting the building, the Ethod arrives on her motorized bicycle. Both of them leave hundreds of people to die horribly. You look back at the burning wreck and Palpatine gets pissed as fuck. Snake, you capitalist dumbass, were you too busy drinking Coca-Cola to kill me? When I'm done with your toothbrush, I'll take all your fucking teeth next. So you drive away really fast. So fast, in fact, that's really disorientating. What the fuck is going on? Can you tell me where I am in the base? Eventually, I figured out that I could change the camera and the scenes start making more sense, but only slightly since Snake looks like he's stuck on a fucking slide. Ocelot appears in the corner with more questions, so we have to leave his fast as possible. Fucker's not letting his free atlas go to waste. He plays fun bumper cars with you before trying to release you from the clutches of Simpery. And when that doesn't work, he just tries to kill you. Now we're in a chase scene with infinite ammo and Snake just looks like he's lost. Is he just like uncomfortable or what? You fly through the base, leaving a trail of death and destruction in your wake. And when you reach the runway, the fucker catches up to you. A chase ensues, which only reiterates Snake's bulletproofness. You go across a bridge and then blow it up, mostly to stop Ocelot. Palpatine falls into the river and then forgets that he fell. Welcome to the tank boss fight, my favorite, everyone loves it. You decide to play the tank boss fight until you want to kill yourself. Palpatine, sensing suicidal intent, gets out of the tank and then punches it. Twice. Now we're at the part of the game where you have to hit a small target moving on a fast tank with a sniper rifle using only a flimsy controller. I'm not mad, I'm not mad, I'm not- To combat this new strategy, you skip to the part of the video where he has low health and dies. <laughs> Thank God he's dead for real this time. Now Gorbachev can sell the Soviet Union for pizza and peace. Snake donates for a hug and aliens come to take them down. The final chase scene ensues where I figured out that I can get Snake to scream a lot by firing the machine gun. An action-packed chase ensues where Snake literally cannot stop screaming. Really, you can hear it in the background of every single clip that appears on screen. Snake, do you need help? You are very stiff. Eventually, Snake's screaming catches up to him and he ruptures a hole in the fuel tank using sound waves alone. It's a good thing women can't drive or that would be a problem. Now you're both severely wounded from the crash and you have to babysit this woman. Snake's paternal instincts soon cause him to fall into the clutches of the e-boobs. I need you. You perform surgery on her and now she has to follow you. Oh, take your time, Eva! It's not like the Russians are coming to murder me or anything! Hurry up! This section can be annoying, but I figured out how to walk through it without most encounters. Did I mention that this bitch walks slowly? You get through after hours of rigorous combat and you find her influencer jet. She tells you that the boss told her to tell you to go into the laggy field of flowers and commit murder. Don't know why. Snake enters Bloodborne for the PS4 and gets his ass irradiated again. It's beautiful, isn't it, Snake? You've fallen for, haven't you? 
I thought I raised you better than this snake, better than her. I raised you to be gay, Snake, the ultimate soldier against Simpery. I knew about the terror that the OnlyFans would bring upon this world, and this is only one of the results. Snake, I faked my defection to get the OnlyFans that no one in the world could ever have it again. Not even you. See this scar, Snake? I tried to get surgery to become an e-girl, and look what it did to me. No one can be allowed to have this money. Not you, nor anyone ever again. And if you want to please your e-girl so much, then you will have to take it from me. Okay. One of us must die here. Snake. You start the battle and notice that the PS3 emulator is really fucking laggy here. So Snake teleports into a different fucking console where he's wearing a banana suit. The rest of this battle takes place in the PS2 dimension. You own the boss by letting her grab you and then filling her full of lead. She'll do this and then run away, so you follow her, wait to be found, and then do the same thing again. If I was trying to be stealthy, she'd probably forget where I was. That is actually how the boss works. You figure it out within two seconds and you beat the boss in one minute. You simping dumbass. I'll always remember you as being based, boss. Take the gun and fucking shoot me so I never have to hear that word again. You are a disgrace and an imbecile. Snake, hurry up. Turn on the aircraft and it seems like the fight is over. Ava has her only fans back and the Soviet plan is foiled, but Snake is forgetting something very important. Did you forget about me? Because I have more questions for you. Oh, how kind of you to invite me in. Oh, how rude of you tell me. Do all Americans wear bananas? Is it a cultural thing? I suppose not. I didn't fall down. Shut up. Why don't we settle this the cowboy way? I'll play as the cowboy and you as the chicken. I should load my guns more. So Ocelot decides to play a game where only one of the guns is loaded, but you get to choose the gun. I didn't uh, watch when he was juggling them, so righty tighty lefty loose. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> it's a blank American. I wouldn't dare kill you, because I have one more question. In capitalist America, do you think that a, a, an ocelot and a snake could find love? It, is it possible? That's cringe. Okay, bye. Ah! So you fly back to the US and then teleport to her influencer cabin where Snake's autistic ass is finally able to have sex. One symptom of autism is avoiding eye contact. Snake wakes up in the morning and Ava is nowhere to be seen. He turns over a postcard that says goodbye and finds a videotape. Snake turns it on with the player and it tells me that she left me, that she took all the money. She, she just used me, used me to get her OnlyFans back. And threw me away like garbage afterwards. The boss was right about her. About the OnlyFans. She was trying to save me. She was trying to save me. And I didn't listen. I'm sorry, boss. I'm sorry. I let you down. Above even the boss. I hereby award you the title of Big Boss. <laughs> As the president awards you the dumbest 
fucking name ever. He goes to shake your hand, but you refuse it. He and men like him will stomp on the memory of the boss until the end of time. You walk out, but all the morals of your mission seem lost to you now. A distant memory of a time where a mission could be virtuous. Despite all the pictures, all the photos, and all the medals, Snake is now utterly alone in this world. The only thing left for him now is a beautiful garden containing a grave of the only person in the world who gave his life meaning. All that remains of her now are memories of a time long since past. A time where the world was simpler. A time of based and cringe. When heavens divide, I will see the choices within